Hello, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to uh, do basic camera settings, not advanced, basic camera settings in your DJI Mavic Pro 2 Smart Remote Control. This is how we proceed. So the first thing you do is when you turn on your drone, obviously this is the first screen you're going to get, you click on go fly to get to the main screen and right here these are the settings that you have to change in order to change the camera settings. So you click here and from here these are all your camera settings currently it's on automatic so everything nothing can be changed it's all auto in order to change it you have to go to aperture priority or shutter priority or manual so I'm gonna go to manual and from manual I could change my ISO speed this is the film sensitivity speed which you could slide to different settings like 800 or 6400 and back to 100 or you could choose automatic when you have the auto now uh, about uh, aperture same thing currently is 3.4 you could change it to 10 11 remember the smaller the aperture the lesser light comes through the lens so you only choose 11 if it's super bright sunny day uh, normally you don't choose 11 and 2.8 is for super uh, dark like at night time okay and this the shutter speed same thing the shutter speed has to be higher if you're shooting the sporting events if it's not sporting event and not high speed uh, moving objects then you can lower your shutter speed but the higher the shutter speed the brighter light is required because the lesser time the uh, exposure uh, has uh, the CCD sensor will have lesser time for the exposure now this goes up to one over eight thousandths of a second which is super super fast uh, so you know you could you could catch a football in midair without any blur at that speed so you know but yeah so if you want to go back to automatic you simply go to auto and it will take you back to the automatic settings which is 1 30th of a per second and 3.5 shutter speed now th uh, this is the v video settings when you go to the video settings like video size you could choose currently it's at the highest rate which is uh, uh, 3840 by 2160 30 frames per second high definition now you could have 24 frames per second, 25 or 30. This is the best quality. Or you could have uh, 4K uh, uh, at uh, three, uh, 3840 by 2160, high quality. And you could have 2K or, or 2.7K, and that's the resolution. Or you could have 1080p. Uh, now, why would you want to downgrade the uh, resolution? Uh, that's because if you want. Uh, uh, smaller file size and uh, basically uh, if you want your memory card to last longer that's when you want to downgrade but normally obviously you want to have 4k at the highest resolution you wouldn't want to downgrade so that's how you do the camera video camera settings let's go back and then you have some other settings like uh, general settings you have the format settings obviously you could put choose mp4 uh, or MOV for Mac, MP4 is more common. Uh, that's the format, uh, the compression format, I should say. The white balance is automatic white balance, but you could change that to cloudy, sunny, neon, or customize it. I like it uh, automatic because it does a great job when you choose automatic. Uh, you could change the style if you wanted to. Currently, no style has been chosen. But you could choose a different style. These are different soft, landscape, customized, and whatnot. And uh, the color settings you can change in coding format. This is the most standard. So you want to actually you don't want to change this. The H.264. You want to keep it there. Um, but if you, you could go to the 265, but then you will have some incompatibility incompatibility issues with some players. All right. So. Uh, then we have the settings uh, save original uh, or you don't want to save the original you could say 
these are the histogram and these are advanced camera settings which are not basic I'm not going to go through over these uh, such as grid and zebra and whatnot uh, for advanced photographers and videographers uh, it's not something that you would want to worry about and then right here is the SD card formatting which you could go to SD card if you wanted to format currently there aren't any SD cards available so the drone has no SD card but you could choose the SD card format right here should it had an SD card uh, you could format the internal memory as you know the new drones have internal memory so even if you don't have an SD card you could still uh, basically record uh, that's actually a great improvement that uh, DJI did because uh, now basically you don't have to worry if you left your house and you forgot to take an SD card with you because a drone can still record some footage on its internal memory. Alright, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.